Hey, I hope you enjoy this uh, this little video. This is a little bit different. Um, I've just finished up in the in the in the gym in Cross Islands. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, so, something slightly different today. This is uh, this is a gym montage that I did recently. So uh, here's me on my dynamic type of warm up. So I like to do a bit of form roller in um, before I start uh, my gym work, uh, primarily because it loosens me up, um, and I got to support my own body weight, particularly when I'm doing you know this kind of thing where I'm rolling out my hamstrings, uh, my calves, things like that. Um, I love a dynamic warm up to be honest it's something that I try to implement as well before I get on the bike just to get the blood moving because as cyclists we're kind of reluctant to you know do a million star jumps or whatever so this is kind of like the next next uh, next best thing um, this session today probably took me about uh, like 45 minutes I think and that's included in the warm up um, it was all based on kind of functional stuff so no kind of heavy weight or anything like that just body weight and elastic bands as you'll see soon so this is kind of part of the dynamic warm-up uh, this was uh, what, what we call a balance board and as you can see I can't balance at all <laughs> but um, what it is basically is just a just a plastic board it's just wide enough for your feet uh, to be slightly less than shoulder width apart and um, the the kind of half ball that's underneath that's attached to it is made of like a rubber material so it grips uh, very well and this surface I was actually on wasn't hard it was kind of like a soft surface so it made it a little bit more difficult the fact that I wasn't standing up straight also made it a bit more difficult um, because later on in this video I stand up straight and it becomes a lot easier Charlie throws me this ball which <laughs> <laughs> which I end up dropping there but the idea is you work on your hand-eye coordination plus your body is working on balancing at the same time so I've sped it up here just for for entertainment value no for <laughs> for educational value um yeah so she'll she'll throw it at different heights uh different angles uh, hence why I have to reach from side to side um it was it was great So moving on quickly to the next exercise, um, this is known as a crab walk with um, my heavy resistance band uh, between my knees. Notice how it's above the knees as opposed to below, if you do it below uh, your knees have a tendency to be um, buckled a little bit easier. So the idea behind the band is to keep your knees, you're kind of forcing your knees outwards. Uh, something that I tend to, well, particularly now after the injuries, my knees have lost quite a bit of strength, so that they're, they're buckling inwards whenever I do a squat, um, whenever they're under heavy loads, or if I'm, you know, even when I'm walking up the stairs, um, they don't buckle, but they just kind of they go inwards, so the muscles aren't firing the right way, so we need to correct that, and things like this um, can help that. Um, to be honest, I'd recommend everybody trying them uh, because I did. I think I did five sets of just walking uh, back and forth side to side and I was in yeah quite a bit of lactic acid debt um, it was it was quite tough actually um, but it's it's a cool exercise um, you actually feel like a lot is working yeah my backside is killing right there so I'll go down for another set and do more so as you can see on the floor in front of the camera, um, I've got another big elastic band which we'll use uh, very soon. We've got other resistance uh, bands there which I can use around my knees and things when I do squats and deadlifts. And tennis balls. Tennis balls I like to use to get into certain areas to do like trigger points, uh, particularly on my backside, on my back, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So you can you can do a lot of training with very very little equipment alright so we moved on upstairs and uh, this is kind of the functional era you can do a lot of stuff up here but we used 
the uh, the longer band that I brought with me. Um, this gym, in fact, has got all of these bands here, but I just wanted my own um, because, well, I'm familiar with with what I use. So this was a tricep extension. Um, now I know what you're saying. You could well use a weight. You could use a plate. You can use a dumbbell. Whatever. The idea is with a resistance band or is that you can keep a lot of resistance on the movement in the uh, the eccentric phase. So right there when I'm coming back down. So you're still kind of in control. You're not just letting that band snap back, which is important to note. You can also recruit uh, a lot of work um, by not letting that band snap back. So. I'm extremely weak, um, this exercise is brilliant for me, I'm extremely weak in that left uh, tricep and the reason being is because of the injury to the elbow, I wasn't able to move my, um, look at me, slacking, um, <laughs> the injury to the left elbow prevented me from, um, from bending it fully for a long time, uh, hence muscle wastage and so forth. So. That's what I'm kind of working back up to right now. Oh, that's another reason why my form is not very good. <laughs> Next up, we have the exercise that's probably going to get the most comments on this video, and that's the gun show exercise. Um, <laughs> me trying to train my biceps right here. Um, another thing that obviously has um, has occurred muscle wastage is that left uh, bicep as well. So. We're working on that and obviously we're working on them in a controlled manner so we're working on them individually as opposed to together doing a you know doing a doing a bicep curl with both arms at the same time so that's what we're doing here we're targeting it um we're also recruiting other things as well like you're stabilizing the shoulder because i'm holding it there in one place the forearm is gaining strength as well so it's it's kind of all being worked it's not just me holding a holding a dumbbell and curling it up with, with kind of no resistance apart from the weight itself obviously um so yeah that is the that was the bicep curls that we were doing so next we headed over to the um to the squat rack and i've got no weights on you at all it's just um it's just a 10 kilo bar um also note i've got the uh, the same uh, elastic band around my around my knees um, we're working on forcing or driving the knees outwards on the downward uh, portion of this movement um, I've always found like the squats are obviously like the king of, of most kind of lower body exercises people consider you know the squat to be king I find for me squats are quite difficult and you know I can manage them but it's a pity that the camera here isn't at the side and it's a like kind of a weird angle so I apologize for that but my my ankle range of motion is quite uh, well, it's ridiculously bad it's it's not good enough basically for me to get lower which is kind of what you're looking for is you're looking, when you go down for a squat, you're looking for your, your bum to drop straight down. As if you were to drop like a plumb line center straight down, your bum just drops. Like there's no kind of moving backwards, um, which is what my bum decides to do uh, a lot of the time. If I think about it, I can get, I can drop straight, like that one I forward the body, but I can't go down as low because of it. If I it her off, doing it in perfect form, and not getting as low than doing it in not so great form and going really really low because you, you know you, you're not quite sure what you're doing to your body um but ankle mobility is something i need to work on uh, outside of the gym to be honest i can work on it anytime um but yeah the idea is for these just dead basic a slight squat even that i could feel in my hamstrings uh and quads the day after so there was at least some uh some benefit to come out of this um but the main benefit is that i'm able to see my squat form and where it needs to improve by the way comment below if you have any tips on any of these exercises that you've seen because um yeah we can all learn from one another okay so one of the 
final exercise, as I think this was, um, was um, was more was again to stabilise the shoulder. This is kind of like a deltoid working exercise. Um, I'm basically standing kind of as tall as I can, or at least I am now. <laughs> when Charlie stepped in, uh, big shout out to Charlie actually for for helping me out here because she's obviously training physio. Um, it's good practice for her. So yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, the yeah, so I'm basically working here on maintaining a strong core. I'm holding my shoulders as straight as possible, and see the grooves on my face as I'm trying to basically just keep my elbow slightly bent, but pull to maintain that shoulder strength. So it, it's quite a um, what seems like quite a simple exercise. Actually, is quite difficult, and they're the ones that usually have the most kind of benefit. And this is the this is the reverse, um, which again seems very easy until you try it. Notice my stance that I have to move my legs, um, just because the amount of force in that band was causing me to snap back. So th there's quite a bit of force there built up in that band that you have to control, uh, you know, in your in your whole of the body. Okay, so before I go, I want to show a quick shout out to the gym that, um, that Charlie's at right now. This is this is D-Max Gym, D-Max Gym, D-I-M-A-X in, um, in Cross Hands, uh, which is right at the end of the M4, um, westbound. So if you want to pop in and uh, see what stuff they've got, by all means, um, they've got some really great equipment here, like for proper functional stuff. Um, and by the way, that's not a plug. That's not a like plug for them. That's just me genuinely saying uh, how good the facility is. Um, you, this is me just finishing off. Um, it kind of like face pulls, but I obviously wasn't doing them to my face. Um, <laughs> chest pulls, face pulls, whatever you want to call them. Um, they work on, you know, the kind of rounded shoulder thing you get when ride on a bike all the time a lot of that is down to tight chest muscles and weakened upper back muscles so what you're doing is you're working on maintaining your back um, your back uh, posture um, by pulling on that band to keep your back straight and to strengthen the muscles and to hopefully stretch out the pec muscles so that is the end of this little gym segment. I hope you really enjoyed it. I know it's uh, a little bit longer than normal, but I wanted to show you everything that I did. And now I'm showing you up my nose, which is quite weird. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I hope the feedback you leave is pretty positive, and I hope it's helped you in some way. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and uh, yeah, comment down below. And I'll see you. Um, I'll see you next time.